हे गाइज हर्ष एवर एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोलो यू नो फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम आई जस्ट यूज दी मैकबुक एयर एज माई प्राइमरी लैपटॉप इट ऑल सारेड बैक इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन विद दी ओ जी मैकबुक एयर वन विद द ग्लोइंग एपल लोगो देन आई मूव डॉन टू दी एम वन मैकबुक एयर विच वॉज अ रेवल्यूशनरी प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज दट वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम दट एपल इंट्रोड्यूस दर ओन चिप सेट इन अ लैपटॉप गेम चेंजिंग स्पेशली इन टर्म्स ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस एज वेल एज बैटरी लाइफ एंड सम मोर इयर्स पास बाय एंड आई फाइनली अपग्रेडेड टू दी एम फोर मैकबुक एयर ऑफ यू मंथ अगो यू माइट हैव सीन दर ऑन दी चैनल एंड अ लॉट ऑफ द वीडियोज ऑन दिस चैनल have been edited on the MacBook Air itself. It's a great machine and one of the best deals out there in tech right now. But then a couple of weeks ago Apple sent over their latest MacBook Pro with the M5 chipset. Believe it or not this is my first ever MacBook Pro. I unboxed it started using it and immediately realized that I am more of a MacBook Pro person than a MacBook Air person. Hence I am making this video today. If you are confused between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro then this is the video to watch. I will talk about each and every detail about these laptops and hopefully by the end of this video your confusion will be clear sit back relax and let's get started All right, I'm going to start by talking about the physical differences between the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. The name MacBook Air explains a lot. It's a super slim, lightweight and easy to carry around machine. And on the flip side, the MacBook Pro is thicker than MacBook Air and also heavier. So in terms of portability and carrying around the laptop, MacBook Air is definitely better. But that thickness on the MacBook Pro does come with some advantages. First and foremost are the ports. So on the MacBook Air there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports which are USB Type C. But on the MacBook Pro there are three Thunderbolt 4 ports again USB Type C. It also has an HD the my port and an SD card slot and apart from that the common ports include the MagSafe charging port and the headphone jack hence for a person like me those ports are absolutely amazing especially that SD card slot i use high end cameras and microphones and almost all these devices use an SD card so the convenience of shooting a video or clicking a photo and just removing the SD card plugging it into the laptop and start editing is absolutely amazing i hope you get my point now the second advantage of that thickness is battery life so battery life on MacBook Pro is actually better as compared to MacBook Air so the Pro actually has a 72.4 watt hour battery versus 53.8 watt hour on the MacBook Air and in terms of real life that does make a difference i used to charge my MacBook Air only once in a couple of days but the MacBook Pro i charge only once in 3 to 4 days incredible battery life and while we're on the topic of battery i also want to talk about charging so inside the box both these laptops do come with a charger that is great the base variant of MacBook Air has a 30 watt adapter and the base variant of the MacBook Pro has a 70 watt adapter both of which can be upgraded by paying extra if you want to do that but i would like to say one thing here that max safe charging is incredible connects magnetically has an led indicator and if accidentally you know someone trips over the wire it won't take the laptop along with it only the wire detaches so super safe as well now the next difference that i want to talk about is with the display because this is a big one the macbook air has a liquid retina display with a 60 hertz refresh rate the brightness is 500 nits really good quality display but the macbook pro has a way better one it's a mini led liquid retina xdr display and on top of that it also has 120 hertz pro motion everything is super smooth opening apps closing apps switching between apps transitions everything works buttery smooth i really like that 120 hertz refresh rate and the difference is absolutely noticeable but in terms of color accuracy both the displays are same hence for any sort of creative work like video editing photo editing designing that comes in handy color accuracy is one of the best out there also the brightness of the display on the macbook pro is 1000 nits literally double that of the macbook air that does make a difference especially while working out in a cafe or something like that and while we're on that topic the macbook pro also also has an option of the nano texture display that basically is a matte coating over the display and it does work in a beautiful way in terms of cutting glare no reflections no glares it looks awesome and also attracts way less fingerprints macbook air display on the other hand is a fingerprint magnet this point is actually very clear that the display on the macbook pro is way better all right this gets me to the main point performance MacBook Air has the M4 chip which is a very capable chip and the MacBook Pro has the latest M5 chip. If I show you a quick Geekbench comparison the difference in terms of single core is not that much but the difference in terms of multi core is big which means MacBook Pro is better in terms of sustained loads. Let me quickly give you an example of my use case. I edit 4K videos on a daily basis and my work is easily done on the MacBook Air with the M4 chipset. No issues at all. For example this video there is one camera shooting in 4K. I can edit that footage easily add B roll on top of it. it at text sound effects background music everything easily on the macbook air itself even the export is smooth in final cut pro but if i want to take it to the next level
Let's say I add multiple cameras, multiple streams of 4K videos. I add motion graphics, animation and things like that. That's where the MacBook Pro will be better as compared to the MacBook Air. So for normal stuff, both these laptops are great and the MacBook Air is actually a better deal for that because it is more portable. But if you want better sustained performance, then that's where the MacBook Pro comes in. It also has fans and an active cooling system. The MacBook Air does not have that. So that also helps. One more use case here is on-device AI. The M5 chipset is actually designed to work really well for on-device AI applications. So running LLMs locally or using AI features in the Adobe Creative Cloud and things like that. So if you use a lot of on-device AI, then the MacBook Pro with the M5 chip is definitely better. There's also a difference in terms of the memory bandwidth. Both of these laptops start with 16 GB of unified memory in the base variant. Memory bandwidth on the MacBook Air is 120 Gbps and that on the MacBook Pro is 153 Gbps. Basically, it will have faster unified memory. Now, apart from these differences, both these laptops are actually very similar. For example, the keyboard and trackpad, solid on both these laptops. The typing experience is awesome. Keys have a good amount of travel to them and they are clicky as well. Similarly, the trackpad is literally the best out there. Four touch trackpad, it is a big one and gestures work incredibly smooth. Even the webcam on both these laptops is awesome. It has center stage, which means that it will always try to keep you in the center for video calls. I think that is a very handy feature. Similarly, both these laptops also have touch ID. Again, super convenient. As far as the speakers go, they are better on the MacBook Pro, but the difference is not that huge. I would say that the speakers on the MacBook Pro are slightly better as compared to the MacBook Air because MacBook Air by itself has great speakers. Like in its price segment, I think it has the best speakers. They're also similar in terms of the design and build. Made out of aluminium and has this industrial look. The typical MacBook look. Yeah, there's one difference in terms of the keyboard appearance. So the borders around the keyboard on the MacBook Pro are black as compared to no border on the MacBook Air. I think the MacBook Pro keyboard looks much better. See, this gets me to the price of these laptops. Here's where there is a huge difference. MacBook Air starts at a price of Rs. 99,900. In that variant, there is 16 GB of unified memory and a 256 GB SSD. MacBook Pro, on the other hand, starts at Rs. 1,69,900. That variant has 16 GB of unified memory and a 512 GB SSD. So which one should you go for? If you do normal work on your laptop, taking emails, browsing the internet, editing photos, maybe editing some videos here and there, then you should go with the MacBook Air because that would be more than enough. In fact, if you edit videos like mine, very basic editing, not a lot of effects and things like that, then also you can go for the MacBook Air and it will be sufficient because the performance is top notch. I think that is pretty clear. MacBook Pro, on the other hand, is for people who are actually professionals and need that much power in their laptop. Heavy video editing, graphic designing, animation, AI applications and things like that. For those things, MacBook Pro makes much more sense. It's an awesome laptop and I really like it. I hope I've answered all your questions, but if you still have any more questions, you can ask them in the comment section down below and I would be happy to assist you. So yeah, that's been it. This was my comparison between the MacBook Air M4 and the MacBook Pro M5. Do let me know what did you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because that would mean the world to me. My name is Hush Punjabi and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.